Welcome back everybody to part two of testing the limits of GB Studio. In the last video, I made a couple of good discoveries. I found that the that, uh, GB Studio can only build games up to four megabytes. Um, scenes that aren't connected to, to anything still count towards the final ROM size. And custom events uh, don't actually cut down on um, ROM size. It just They're just there to make your life easier. So at the end of the last episode, I... I couldn't copy and paste very quickly because of the custom event had loads of stuff in it and that was slowing it down. So I deleted everything from it and now I've been able to um, to basically fill in all this stuff uh, with relative ease. So now I'm at the point where um, I'm testing how many, uh, like how big is the ROM size when we have this many scenes. Um, some problems that I, or like some things that aren't a, a real test is that these all have, if I click on it, you can see 77 tiles. They're all 20 by 18. Um, and they're also, it's not in color mode, so they have no color data. So it's not a real test if you're going to make a color game with uh, more than 77 tiles in. Um, so instead, I've, I've uh, when I was copy and pasting, I made sure that each of these files or each of these backgrounds is using a different file. Um, and what that means is um, I can update those specific files to have either bigger scenes or more tiles and hopefully try and increase the um, the uh, ROM size by doing that once we've uh, moved on. So I've, I've built this um, and this has, if I create a new scene, it should tell me uh, what scene number this is. Scene number 514. Um, so I think, so that means the rest of this, I probably misplaced one. There's probably a row of 17 here somewhere. I was making 16 by 16 uh, rows and columns. Um, and obviously that makes, uh, I was trying to make it so that it was 512 scenes. Uh, and that comes out to, oh, actually it's 513 scenes. And it came out to uh, 512 kilobytes, which is, I think it's uh, just a bit bigger than the um, the normal uh, actually, I think it's like four times bigger than the normal um, size of the ROM with nothing in it. So if we just had one scene, it would be one, two, two, eight, I think. Um, and then up from that is two, five, six. And then obviously now we're at five, twelve. And what my intention now is, um, I'm going to basically double this. So I want to, to have 1,000 scenes in this project and then build it again. And if that works, I'd love to try 2,000 scenes and see if that works. Um, like by not working, I mean that the, the game goes beyond that four megabyte threshold and uh, basically cannot create the game for us to play. Uh, so let's get copy and pasting. Okay, so I've now done four of these blocks of a hundred and, wait, was it of 200 and, 56. Uh, so that makes 1024 scenes. And to prove it, I'll make a new scene and the number of it will also obviously be which scene is. So it's now scene 1025. Um, so that means if, if, you, if each scene counts as a byte, then you would imagine it to be 1000 bytes, which is a kilobyte. Um, and obviously if each scene takes up a kilobyte, then we would imagine it to take up one megabyte. Um, so what I'm hoping is that the size of this, you see as I'm building it now, um, I'm hoping that the size of this, um, file now will still be 512, um, kilobytes, um, or whatever it's at, uh, because um there we haven't really added much information like there's no actors in these scenes there's no triggers there's no uh there's no information on the initiate or the on player hit there's nothing so these scenes are bare bones um so i would imagine it to still be at the 512 uh, but now we've reached that that 1000 point if uh it depending on how much each you know how many bytes each scene takes up in the ROM size itself, then we may learn about, um, you know, the limits of GB Studio. Um, and 
the reason why I want it to be 512 is because I want there to be basically unlimited amount of scenes. Um, but the real testing still is in the game. When you make your game, um, you know, how well optimized are your scripts? You know, have you, um, you know, made sure you haven't uh, got too many scenes that are full of stuff in the background that do nothing. Um, I feel like last episode was still very important, but as you can see here, even with no information in the scenes, we are we've managed to get at least 500 scenes uh, to work perfectly. Um, and let's hope a thousand scenes works. I feel like if I was to do this again, I would have two triggers in each scene and have a have the custom event on it, uh, so that we can easily change the custom event and increase the byte usage to see how bad it gets, how quickly. Uh, so, okay, so this is done. So let's just have a look at this. It is one megabyte, like I supposed. Um, so that means 1,000 scenes is probably going to come out to 1,000 or one megabyte. Um, so that isn't good. That isn't good from my perspective. Uh, if I want to make my game have um, 500 cars in, and each of them needs two scenes each, then that would be one megabyte right there. Uh, and then depending on, um, you know, the racetracks, how many racetracks there are, how many sections. I'm thinking I may have to reduce Take It Racing 2's size um, in order to get this to work better. Uh, but that isn't the end of the world, and I'm glad I did this testing. Um, I prefer to, you know, aim for the stars and then have to roll back than to make something that isn't that exciting. Um, but I feel like this is a good place to stop this video, although I haven't really gone much further than I did last video. Um, we can see that 1000 scenes does in fact come out to one megabyte. Um, and anything under that will be 5 to 12. And anything under uh, 256 scenes will probably be um, 1 to 5 uh, kilobytes. Um, but I would love to hear from the actual developers about this stuff and if they're going to be addressing um, any of the optimization issues um, in GB Studio 3. be very interesting. Um, but for now, I think um, it's probably worth leaving because I can imagine if I double this up and make 2,000 scenes, it will probably go to uh, 2,000 or 2 megabytes, sorry. And 4,000 scenes would be megabyte um, but it would be very useful to know like I said about the trigger on each scene if each scene had a trigger and had a change scene um, I can imagine it doesn't matter which scene you're referencing it's it's the same amount of bytes um, so if each of them had two change scenes on each or like one change scene on each trigger and had two triggers in a scene how much more would that be uh, and that would kind of tell you how big a comic could be in GB Studio. Um, but what I'm going to do is um, I have a lot of ways to go from here. Like I said at the beginning, I could make the scenes bigger and I make them have different, um, you know, different size, um, you know, different amounts of tiles in. Um, or I could turn on color mode, and which I might actually do. I'm going to turn on color mode, and then I'm going to build and run again, and then this time see how uh, big the file is with color mode activated. As this is building, I'm looking at these compiling, obviously the cores. Um, as you can see, there's the cameras, there's um, the actors, there's a fade manager, there's math, there's input, um, palettes, projectiles, scripts of runners, whatever. Um, and I'm what I'm realizing is these might be adding to the file size. And if we were, if say for example, Take It Racing 2, um, if we could delete, for example, the, I don't know, the fade manager or the projectiles um, or some of the script runners and the scrolling maybe, um, then maybe we would be able to save a small amount of space uh, in the game. Um, that's definitely something to think about as well. But yeah, it's definitely answering some of these questions I've been had about Take It Racing 2. Uh, and I hope it's helping you think about your games as well. This is obviously for 
once your game gets very big. But if you um, are planning your game far enough in advance and thinking about how long your game will take to make um, and how big your game can be and how long it'll take for the player to complete, uh, hopefully this is you know giving you some ideas on the limits of of how big your game can be. So I'm without any information, um, you know, in the scene. I can imagine the scene limit is 4,000 scenes, which is huge. Uh, but obviously not as huge as if you were to do it in Unreal or Unity, but still it's massive. And I can imagine with information in the scenes, I can imagine depending on how, you know, how much information you actually put in the scene. If you put a small amount of information, I can imagine 3,000 scenes, 3,500 might be a rough estimate of, uh, I can imagine like a comic book, how many pages you could have in a comic book. Um, and then for an actual game where you actually have, you know, stuff going on, you have actors that are filling up the stuff, you have music, you have everything. I can imagine maybe 2,000 scenes is um, probably where you would start having to think about the optimization of your game. Um, but obviously, I would love to hear from you what you guys have got, um, both in terms of scene numbers and also, uh, for example, how many tiles are being used, um, how many different color palettes you've used, um, all this kind of stuff of like, how much have you used? How bi What's the biggest game you've made? Uh, okay, so now this is built. Let's have a look at the properties. Uh, okay, so color mode didn't add anything, but we are only using one palette. Um, and obviously, it could have added uh, quite a lot, but we just can't see it um, because obviously it's hidden by the extra, uh, you know, jumped up to the next megabyte. I would love to hear what you guys think about this. I'll leave this video here for now. I've put my patrons up on the screen right now. Thank you so much to you guys. Remember to like the video if you liked the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and please let me know your opinions on this and uh, if it's changed how you may approach making GB Studio games as your um, scope increases of your games. But yeah, um, I'm going to have to leave it there for now, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.